Rosalie. She is um, a professional businesswoman. She runs care homes um, and she's kind of come up from a kind of working class background and, and uh, you know, um, had a leg up the ladder and uh, yeah, opened her own business and she's married with two children um, and she's going through a really difficult time with her husband because he's had an affair, a rat. They've decided to get back together and kind of make a go of it. In the first five minutes they find out that their son has been killed in Thailand when it's been on a gap year. So it's a psychological thriller that's uh, got themes, strong themes of grief and loss and it's, it's very tense, taut. And I have been through a grieving process for, you know, um, in some ways and uh, so I kind of know what that's like but losing a child is a, such a singular thing that I, it's, a, it's, quite a, it's, quite, it's a very, very difficult thing to play but it's certainly profoundly changes her and, and I think every decision she makes throughout the whole show is, is based on the fact that she is grieving, vulnerable, her guards down. It's something that you never want to imagine happening to yourself so you have to put yourself in that person's shoes and that was very, that was very, very challenging and I, I, and I wanted to honour it in a way, you know, because I wanted to kind of be very sensitive in my portrayal of that. She's got quite a kind of strong moral back bone, Rosalie, and that is challenged. Um, and I, I kind of have a huge admiration for that. Um, she has a lot of faith as well, religious faith, which is something that I don't have at all, so I kind of had to put myself in, in that situation. But she's very kind and caring, and she's a, she's a good mother. She's a complex person, and I think it's she's not one-dimensional in any way, and I think we, we see a lot of one-dimensional especially women on TV, so I think to play someone who's complex, I, I wouldn't kind of pick out one trait or the other. I think she just she's just a rounded character, rounded human being. I was delighted that it was a kind of woman in her fifties who was kind of the lead have the, the leading role in it. It is very much an ensemble piece, but this kind of, you know, great kind of stonking leading role um for someone over the age of fifty is like as rare as rocking horse frankly. So I, I grabbed that with both hands. It's too rare, I have to say. It's unusual, so, and it shouldn't be unusual. So for that, that reason, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful, but it's incredibly annoying at the same time, because you just think there should be these characters on television all the time. There's obviously an appetite for them, and they get the viewing figures and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we just need to commission more of them, really.